a big what's up to everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to the 2023 all-star weekend or at this point by the time this video is dropped that joint will be finished but per rules on my youtube channel you already know that bulls drop a review slash update video of the squad going into the last 25 games of the regular season so in this video i will be doing just that um the eagles championship run has died down unfortunately so i'm back on track making nba and sixers content real quick i am so sad like i'm sad as hell that that we actually lost the freaking super bowl like literally was depressed for like what two two days um after we lost last sunday and when i tell you that i had my camera ready bro like legit had all my joints packed in a small knapsack to go downtown last sunday and vibe with everybody in the in the surrounding philadelphia area um just collecting content and vibing bro like yo so sad but tis life of a philly sports fan but anyway shout out to the people who actually watched my birds content on here because i like know a lot of y'all did not it's all good also as well to the people who watched my stuff on tiktok as well my joint grew immensely over the last two weeks and i have to thank y'all for that but actually more importantly shout out to jalen hurts and the birds uh, for a magical ride this season what y'all got to say now about my qb but yeah, speaking of non-championships, back to basketball and the Philadelphia 76ers. Now, I know y'all saw Matt McClung win the dunk contest last night, single-handedly frying the competition. Like, I swear, Mans didn't even warm up nor stretch. He was signed only like a week ago, probably like less than that, like five days. And yeah, Bull did what he had to do and put on a show for the whole world to see and brought the trophy back home to the city. He is already a top three top three greatest philly athlete ever in my book well done bro philadelphia sports has finally won something let's go bulls on the internet was saying that it is officially now mac history month <laughs> funny but disrespectful <laughs> funny but disrespectful back to the sixers at the all-star break to that third in the east at a record of 38 and 19 only three games back of first place and having the fourth best overall record in the league in the league it definitely doesn't feel like it huh but it sure is um they have won the last four games so that is always good statistically the sixers are top 10 in field goal percentage they're eighth 10th in three points made eighth in turnovers eighth in steals and we are top five in three point percentage which we are fourth we are second in free throws made first overall in the league in free throw percentage and fifth overall in true shooting percentage those numbers are actually not that bad because like what the sixers are like actually doing well in three point categories like huh <laughs> overall we are sixth we have the sixth best defensive rating in the league staying with the six we have the sixth best offensive rating in the league we are fifth in plus or minus plus and minus efficiency and we have the fourth best net overall rating in the national basketball association looking at our players our star players joel Embiid is second in the league in scoring he's under luka Dantage by like what 0.2 points uh james harden is first and leads the league in assists overall assists with 10.8 per game which is mind-boggling that's almost 11 well clearly but and the anthony melton the melt man is fourth has the fourth most steals or is averaging the fourth most steals in the entire league that is amazing shout out to daryl Murray for getting him at the expense of danny green like a lot of the stuff is actually amazing to actually read out loud and though annoying our guys have been balling out like balling frying the competition as i said they have just won what four straight games and even before then i believe um we had like what a 12 game win streak until we, we like lost to the, some bum team so i have to ask a serious question have we as fans been hard on them up to this point let me answer that absolutely not okay so um what should i talk about first um well i, I guess we, we can wrap up the actual trade deadline long story short we traded matisse Stiebel to the portland trail blazers for a better three and d guy his name is jalen daniels um it was a three-team trade um we sent tease to portland i believe some picks got sent to Char charlotte and charlotte gave us uh mr mcdaniels and he i would say he's less he's not as talented on defense as tease is but he's better at three 
than Tease is. So, a 3 and D player, yeah. So now the question is, will he actually make an impact on the team? Ask Glenn Rivers if he'll play more than five minutes. Then I can answer you that question. But no, for real, for real, um, from what I have seen in the last few games so far, uh, I love his athleticism as a whole. Like, hella lobs are going to come. Like, that is going to be so dope. Like, in a playoff atmosphere, just getting the actual crowd going and the team going as well. But we shall see how the threes hold up i'm not you know too pressed on his defense because that's what he came here to do he's he is not going to fall off per se um i was reading like an r article saying that that like he wasn't having the best season overall especially shoot shooting the ball while in charlotte but with joel Embiid and james harden giving him open looks i'm pretty sure he'll be fine uh but overall a pretty underwhelming trade deadline uh, before I forget, Furkan Korkmaz is still somehow at Philadelphia 76er. He definitely he definitely um, requested a trade for the team, like what, the second time in like five years. And um, Daryl Morey and Elson Brand said, no, nah, young man, you can sit down. I know he is sick as hell. We have like, what, two more years uh, of him under contract. So welcome back to the squad, Furky Doodle. Um, we also signed Dwayne Dedman as another backup center, if that counts. Obviously, it does not. At this point, has Daryl Morey officially become overrated as a GM? I'll let you answer that question for yourselves. Um, but yeah, for another year, the, the Sixers are going into the final stretch of games with 96% of the team that they had at the beginning of the year. Can you be annoyed as a fan? Sure. Is it warranted? Who the hell knows? Overall trade deadline grade, I would give it a C. We swapped the same basic player so whatever and i think we got some picks back so eh, c plus so going further don't hand me the we'll get somebody in the actual buyout market mumbo jumbo because who the heck is we finna get like I, I truly believe that we had or i truly believed that we had a chance to get kevin love as well as danny green but they chose other teams so newsflash bulls do not want to come to philly for whatever reason we always know this um, and the same thing happens each year, each year, each year after the next one. And we always say, oh, this one is, is going to be different. Um, not at all. So it's a sad reality. But as the old saying goes, no one likes us and we don't care. I'm lying because I do care. I actually care <laughs> a lot because I won a freaking championship. So where do I see the Sixers at this point in the year? Um, same place as always. No freaking idea. No freaking clue. They're good, obviously as this as the stats would suggest but i would be lying if i said that they were better than boston and milwaukee at this point more so boston i believe we can beat milwaukee mainly because middleton is hurt and actually old but boston eh, i really can't say that we can and i know it's a badge on to say because boston is always our rivals but that last game dog i was so tight like don't get me started we better beat them on the 28th or i'm finna just hibernate till our yearly second round exit in the playoffs and i'm not kidding at all <laughs> um make note that the squad has the hardest remaining schedule in the league for the rest of the year which i'm not too scared scared of or honestly not even scared at all because it is what it is we need to build that dog up in ourselves anyway so yeah what are my predictions we end up with the second seed when it is all said and done but for now i don't see us getting past the second round other notes uh i would still keep maxi on the bench he'll be fine he's you know doing it his like thing he definitely did have a little small slump but he wasn't even playing that badly like I i've been seeing a lot of balls saying oh maxi needs to be inserted back in the front lines like yes his uh points per game have dropped but at the expense of the sixers actually losing like we're actually winning games been winning games consistently so i'm fine with that um so yeah the sixers are on the right path they're actually playing very well but unfortunately we have a lot of eastern conference foes that we're going to have to you know get past during the playoffs and i believe that these last few stretch of games the last 25 games of the year will tell us where the team is going into the playoffs so i am excited to see some tough playoff atmosphere seeding game basketball i know you are too i want to thank everybody for pulling up and listening to a brother think like comment share subscribe with sixers fiend if you feel so inclined 
what are your thoughts on the Sixers going into the last games of the season? Shout out to everyone who was watching my Ben, my latest Ben Simmons compilation video. As much as I am upset at Mans, he definitely is carrying my channel. As always, them balls are mad because the process worked. My name is Kain, and I will see you next time. James Harden shouldn't have been all-star snubbed. Peace.